Hey guys, you have some questions. Shovinism answers. Shovinism. Hi everyone, my name is Yaron Shavit, and this channel is Shovinism. Uh, I just realized that some people don't actually know my name, so uh, my name is Yaron Shavit. I'm an actor. This channel is mainly about comedy um, and characters. Uh, I rotate between sort of four characters, and then there's some comedy sketches in between. Sometimes I do a discussion topic. I'll probably do a little more of that this year. This video will be cut into two sections because otherwise it'll be really, really long because I got a lot of beautiful questions that I want to answer. The first question is what do you like to do outside YouTube? Uh, so I really, really enjoy playing sports uh, and watching sports, uh, primarily basketball, uh, but other sports as well. I am a sucker for deep and meaningful conversations. I do admit I don't like small talk, but if if you engage with me in conversation about something that, that matters about you know the meaning of life <laughs> and all that then I will engage happily and I enjoy dancing it's not easy dancing with me I'm quite an extroverted dancer so yeah embarrasses my friends sometimes but uh, it's a lot of fun the next question is what is the best piece of advice you could give to someone starting on YouTube I don't know if I'm the person to answer that uh, I'm not I'm not that big uh, but if anybody does want my advice, I would recommend to connect to other small YouTubers, find people with your interests, um, relate to other small YouTubers who are trying, have a sense of community, uh, connect with them. Kind of be aware that it's an ongoing process. Your first video will probably not go viral and it will probably not be that amazing. Um, it's an ongoing process. I keep improving. Bigger YouTubers keep improving uh, and adapting to, to trends and to, to um, they also. I mean, we also change as, as people, and that affects what we what we put out there. And we have experiences, and life affects us, and that affects the channel. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, I could definitely zone out at will. That's my one superpower. If the conversation is not interesting, I'm out. I don't know what this gesture is, but I, I think you got that it means that I'm not connected. What are famous actors you wish to work with? Ah, there's a little big number uh, of actors. I'd love to work with Jack Nicholson, Morgan Freeman, Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep, Natalie Portman, Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper, especially together because they have a, this great chemistry. There's so many. I don't know. Billy Crystal, the cast of Friends, cast of Modern Family, Ed O'Neill specifically. Yeah, uh, I don't know, a, lo a lot of them. What inspired you to make a YouTube channel and what are the positives and negatives of that? Uh, that's, those are two questions. Um, the first one, I don't know if anything inspired me. I wasn't watching YouTubers, so to speak, before. Uh, I do a lot more now. I think, I mean, I know I started YouTube because I wanted to be, to do stand-up. But I was scared. See, so I thought YouTube would be a great way. The channel's changed a lot because it was meant to be sort of anecdotes uh, called chauvinisms in the beginning. Uh, very short videos of, of these little chauvinisms, thoughts that I have, uh, and it's, it's developed through time. Uh, but it was mainly uh, uh, sort of a, meant to be a trial stage for stand-up to see what, what sort of I ideas and thoughts people tap into. Uh, oddly enough, the channel has brought me to do stand-up. Uh, there's actually a video as well uh, of a minute from, from a stand-up performance and I hope to do more of that this year. Uh, regarding the positives and negatives, it's been mainly positive. I mean the feedback is amazing and, and I'm, I'm growing as an artist which is very important for me because it always correlates to my acting career. Uh, so that's very beneficial to me. The negatives, I would say that the only thing is that I, I work on a schedule so some, some weeks are, there's a lot of stress that's involved like you have to release a video, there's an idea, a thought, be creative edit it, um, which takes a lot of time. And while you're working a full-time job, that may be a little stressful to release and, and, and to, to find an idea and, and you want it to be a good one. You know, you don't want to just put something just for the sake of putting it. So, so there's a lot of thought that goes into that and a lot of pressure. And every time I release a video, I'm like, ooh, I hope people will tap into this. I hope they, they get me or it makes them smile or, or they, you know, that's sort of the, that's sort of the the struggle, uh, but overall it's been mainly positive. I'm very happy with with the way things are going. What makes you the most happy? Uh, I think the thing that makes me most happy is a sense of accomplishment. Um, 
anything that you accomplish by yourself, it takes a lot of, a lot of, and when you deal with your fears and you actually do something, um, it can be, for me it's acting related mainly, but I think that makes me most happy when there's an obstacle, if I'm working on a character and I can't get it and I'm banging my head against the wall every day and, and then I go and, and something good happens, sometimes no, no one will know it because it's in a rehearsal room, but uh, those are the points that you go home proud and you think, you know, I've achieved something today as a, as a person, as, a, as, a, as an artist, artiste, I should say. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, those are the things that make me make me happiest. Any any form of accomplishment. What are your goals for this year? To to improve as an artist, I want the channel to grow. I want to get good credits. I have some so a couple of uh, big films that are coming out this year, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, if you want, I'll put a link to my IMDb page if you want to check out what I'm doing uh, uh, in my acting profession. Um, but those are those are the things. Yeah, my goals are mainly acting related. So it's the channel and, and my acting profession. What is the one thing you can never live without? My social network, so it starts with my girlfriend Christina, uh, who's amazing, and my family, which are very important to me, my social relationships, I really value friendship, uh, and those things sort of keep me going, and to me the worst feeling in the world is to feel lonely, I hate when I get that feeling, so um, social connections and, and, and that sort of thing are, are the one thing that's most important to me. What's the key to a successful channel in your opinion? That's a very hard question for me to answer because I'm not sure there's one thing. I think it depends. If you have something that's very focused on, let's say, I don't know, cars. I have, a, I know, I have a good friend who's, a, who's in the automotive industry. He has a specific target audience. So a good target audience can really be good for that person to to, to grow in. Uh, if you're on a more, uh, if you go on trending topics or, or something like that and you're interesting, I think the most interesting is the personality of the person. Because I think people tap into, I think YouTube is, is a bit of a reality show in, in that sense. If you can tap into the personality um, and the information and, and someone is interesting to listen to, then I think you'll tap into that. And for my channel, you know, if people tap into my humor, great, they'll keep watching. And if not, then, oh, well, you should. No, uh, I hope people tap into into me and my you know in in my head. I have a, a really, hopefully, unique way of thinking, and hopefully, you tap into that. And if I watch someone, I I want to tap into who they are, and that's why I'll, I'll keep watching and start caring for their life. Like I, I you know, you empathize with people. The empathy is the biggest force we have to to connect to people. And even if it's someone without a, with a you know on the other side of the camera, I can connect to that. Uh, or not connect to it and then I troll them and write mean comments. What introduced you to the idea of filmmaking, especially on YouTube? That's uh, I don't know if there's an answer. I did answer that I got into YouTube uh, because of stand-up uh, or wanting to be a, to do more stand-up and, and, and that sort of thing. Obviously I'm an actor so I, I come from a background of filmmaking but I didn't know the technical side of filmmaking so editing and filming and angles and all that sort of thing that's still new to me I'm still it's an ongoing process I think I get better at it but it's not uh, it's not something I studied and I'm, and I'm learning through the process there's no there's no really other way to learn other than than doing it um, and hopefully you know it's improving this next question is probably my favorite question it's how do you develop a character or what techniques do you use to develop a character that's a uh, that's an interesting question because I, I come from a theater background. That's I'm theater trained. The first thing I would think of is physical. So there's a few methods to it, but uh, in general, I would think of an animal. Maybe, uh, for example, if it's a hawk, then you know a look or or whatever it is. I would think where their leading organ is. So some point to to kind of sum it up. If someone leads from the head. They're more rational and they more they think you know more straight. And if someone their leading organ is the gut or 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 the legs, then they're probably more spontaneous, more impulsive. Um, and in that sense, I enjoy studying people as well. Uh, there's elements you work with elements sometimes. So fire, you know, water, wind, air, uh, the earth. Sorry. If you think about it, the the four characters on this channel they're all sort of a different element. So let's say. 
uh, Herschel is more air. He's a bit more like, you know, I don't know, it's in the, um, it's kind of weird. He's, you know, his eyes go up quite a bit or he's thinking about something and it's a, a lot of thoughts and oh, 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 he just gets reminded of something. Uh, whereas Sir Hatesalot is very earthy, you know, he has that, you know, rooted quality, you know, he's, I'm going to speak to you, I don't like it. It's absolutely, a, you know, he has that sort of uh, rooted stoic anger. Uh, whereas Javier has that, you know, lacking fire, he's all over, he, he speaks with his hands, everything, he's impulsive, he can't, he's obsession, you know, all the way. Um, and Jeremy, the, the dating instructor, he's, he's more of a watery, you know, how are you? It is, uh, he, he speaks in round movements, it's very uh, round in the tongue, and, you know. Um, that's kind of a basic, but I would go with, with physicality. They all, even on screen, they have physicality, and I go with a voice. So if I speak from here, I'm speaking in a sort of direct uh, to the camera. Whereas someone who's, you know, a little more shy or, you know, um, you know, it, it, all, it all taps into to different things. Um, but that sort of, I hope that answers the question. I could probably do a half an hour just on that alone. Um, but I hope that gives sort of an insight on, on my work. Ish. The next question uh, is, where do you get your good looks from? Are you uh, the son of uh, Vince Vaughn and Billy Crystal? Are they your fathers? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> right, I'll just show some pictures to, 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 so you can see. I did the face swap before and um, here's a picture of me looking like Vince Vaughn. Uh, ish. By the way, when I was in LA, people actually uh, said that I uh, remind them acting-wise of Vince Vaughn. Uh, when I met casting directors in LA, they were like, yeah, you know, you have that Vince Vaughn quality. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. What was your first professional role and how did you act when you got the call about the first role? That's an interesting question because I'm... I don't know. I... I I don't remember what exactly my first role was, but my first major film ro or credit uh, TV role was in The Honorable Woman, and that was uh, starring Maggie Gyllenhaal. Oddly enough, I remember because um, my flatmate always commented on it that I was, at the time, that I was, I didn't look happy at all. I just kind of acted like I normally go through life, and I went, yeah, I got a role. I don't know. It's, you know, a few lines, and, uh, and that would be, to an actor, a huge thing, but I, I didn't really appreciate it because... I've done a lot of theater before, and although this was TV and everything, I, I kind of thought, I hope it does well and takes me to the next level. I didn't even see it as such a big thing. Then it, it you know, it became a big thing. It, you know, it's a, it became an Emmy-nominated series and everything. So I had to introduce myself with that, but I wasn't necessarily the most proud of my work in it. I think I did, you know, I think it, it was okay, but it, it wasn't the process when you're two days on set. It's not like the process of, of being in a theater for a month in rehearsals and really going and I, you're like, I can't, I can't, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing with this character and, and having breakthroughs, these little breakthroughs only to regress again and progress and, and that sort of process. And when you're on film for a small role, that process doesn't happen so much. Now I would probably treat it a little more differently because I know how how everyone looks at a CV and, and how uh, if you can get a, a scene with a famous actor you know and put it on your showreel how you progress and, and, and obviously there's more money in film uh, for sure you can in two days on set you can make more than three months in theater sometimes it's it is ridiculous alright everyone thanks thanks for watching that's everything uh, a lot of these questions were asked by youtubers so I'm gonna put some links down below please 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 do support a small youtuber it's very, it's very helpful for them. If you find something that you like, subscribe to their channel, watch a couple of videos. It would really, really help them. And um, it's, it's, much more, it's much more meaningful to a small YouTuber when you subscribe than it is to a big YouTuber uh, who has millions of subscribers. And uh, it costs nothing. It's, it's all free. Uh, that's also true to my channel, of course. So please do subscribe to me. Hit that bell so you get regular notifications. Like, comment you know, share, subscribe, and all, all, all the things that everyone always says. It, it, it really, it really does, we can't express how much it means because we're all, and this is, I'll, I'll just explain to you, this is, we're all trying to get, all the small YouTubers, they're trying to get on the YouTube radar. They're trying to get noticed by YouTube so it promotes their videos. 
there's no other way than by, by, by sharing and liking and commenting and actually watching the video uh, for its duration. That's the biggest help you can give a YouTuber. That's true to my channel, but it's also true to everyone who, who asked a question. Not everyone, but the people that are YouTubers that ask a question. So I do hope you, you check them out. Give them some loving. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time with the second half of the Q&A. Bye for now.